<clears throat> All right, so um, this is just a follow up to today's diary. So um, today was going, I guess, decent. Until, of course, all of the random shits happening because of my young brother crying. And since then, um, unluckily, he's at home, while the other is just being a complete fucking idiot. So, usual family bullshit. But then, honestly, I'm not. I might not be surprised anymore. However, um, I guess I would be. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> and the rest of the day, of course, just went pretty well, half good, and the other half is pretty boring, as well as the other half of not getting any better. Thanks to my sickness. Like, I almost have ate everything that I could ever eat. And yet, I'm not getting any better. Like, there is that little um, um, medicine when you mix it with water, it forms, dissolves into water. Basically, a dissolver medicine. And um, I've had that to my throat, and still no, still no dice. Like it's like my throat was never meant to be healed or something. Not to mention my left ear, which I will never understand. What the hell did? What the hell has happened to it? Like, what did I even do to it very wrong? And sometimes I've been wondering if it's from putting on the earpods too much. I don't know. And, um, as far as the um, other few things, you know, <coughs> oh god. I was definitely planning to download uh, and replay some Night Trap. A really cheesy and possibly cringy for most people nowadays. Basically a very old uh, FM, real life action uh, FMV interactive video game. First release for the Sega CD. I was gonna get the Sega, 30, um, Sega CD 32X version. But, well, I guess I didn't, thanks to the Wi-Fi being off, because I don't want to screw up half of my data. Not that it's any important. What's important, though, that I've been just talking around and been saying how much that I have regretted leaving and ditching my older friends. You know how I've been keeping on saying that I wouldn't be that guy that ditches people off for any kind of reason? Or the fact that I was going to stick with people forever in sickness and health and yada yada yada? I said I was going to be that guy. I said I was not going to ditch them, they're my friends, yada 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 again. But with my hypocritic state taking over, literally like uh, a year ago, even a year and a half ago, <sighs> thanks to that, I have ditched those people. I have became that guy that ditches people, just like how people ditching me. And I have... I've literally thought at one time that I was going to be ditched by most of those people, which is honestly, honestly was so untrue. And um, looks 
like I was giving that I was given that kind of treatment. I have been I've ditched my amazing friends. Therefore the people that used to be my friends from that place have ditched me and turned on me. And I'm gonna be honest. I've there are no no like there are no not enough words to describe like the amount of regret that I have for doing that and the amount and how much I really miss those people those very old people like they were actually the ones that had supported me and been by my side and actually thought that I was important and even was knowing my darkest secrets I still had support you know like I I really had some decent support and and a support that was honestly it's honestly never gonna be, ever be compared to anyone else's, you know, and um, I just really wish that I didn't do that, I really wish I could meet them, you know, meet those older people before going into that place, like a lot of them, a lot of them really had supported me and been by my side. But, um, I have, but then again, once again, I did my worst, I did my worst, for only a few years I've been with most of those people, and then a year later, I did the exact opposite of what I said. I've became what I hated the most. And not only that, but no one has any idea how much idiotic I have ever been. All of that time was nothing but a chain of poor choices left and right up and down whether you're laying down or not still a real poor choice <clears throat> I can definitely assume that my my purse was a really poor choice from my parents <sighs> well but then again what can you even tell? Who am I kidding? And I might assure you that those people might hate me to hell right now. Like, those older people. They might, they might be already hating on me. Very much. They would be saying, oh yeah, he definitely ditched me. He definitely, like, did exactly what he said that he wouldn't do. He's a hypocrite. I bet that people are saying lots and lots of, you know, related things right now. And I can honestly understand. I can highly understand because that's true. I'm a fucking hypocrite. Hypocrite because I have because I have ditched my own amazing friends and now I have got the consequence I've got the consequence for it very hard without them even giving it to me themselves and uh, hopefully one day I can meet up with them, reunite, and talk, and maybe, I guess, um, I don't 
don't know. We have it a little bit together. Well, like I said, we have a society. It's right now 10.42. It's um, 19 degrees outside for some reason. And right now, I might be asleep, but actually I wouldn't be. But hopefully I can be asleep in the next few days. Otherwise, I don't know well, how am I going to still be alive if I continue on that rate. Like I said, I guess this is my life now. The life of an outcast. A pathetic loser outcast who who did not only lose his reputation, but also exchanged his his one good and simple and amazing life full of amazing friends to literally get some temporary bullshit that would later on run out and instead just fuck him over. (sighs) My life was simply nothing but poor choices. And (sighs) I don't know how much I will even I don't know when am I gonna ever fix that. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to fix any of this anymore, at any, how, at anywhere. Like, I might not be able to fix anything anymore. Neither I will be able to have that kind of chance anyways. Oh well. Guess sometimes you just gotta accept it. But accepting it is just so hard. Yet it's the only choice I have. And I honestly wish that it didn't get to that. And yet here we are. I'm going to go, and I guess hopefully in the next few days I can just continue without any people commenting or any new people coming to me or any trusting for anybody, you know, like I, um, I would, you know, Basically, basically I'm just, you know, hopefully things can go peacefully and I'll be able to move on with my life and without any more people trying to make me feel bad. And even if it's, even if it's in the cost of not having any more friends or any more girls or anything, I would, uh, I would ap- gladly just have a very peaceful, quiet, boring life on the fucking internet. Other than to have any more new people, that would potentially just fuck me over more than I'm already fucked over. I put more regrets than I already have stored inside me. Of course, not like any of you is going to understand. But then, you have to. Because if no one in here is going to understand, then who the hell is going to understand? The wall? My ceiling? My window? My literal couch that I'm sitting at? If humans are not going to understand, then who the hell is going to understand?
except of me. <sighs> and honestly, I'm tired of making people understand. Take whatever bullshit ideas you want about me. Alright, but... I've had it. Alright, I've had it. I did my best to convince. I did my best to talk. I did my best, my best to be logical and everything, but... It's just time for me to go. Alright, it's time for me to go. And just... Just stop talking. Or something. I don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna see you all tomorrow or something, I guess.